<coughs> oh, I just coughed right at the beginning. God damn it. That's unacceptable. I was trying yeah. to clear my throat before we started. We're going to have to just take him out of the stream. Yep, scrap All it, right. start over. All right, so we should be live. Hello, everybody. Hopefully, everybody's having a good night. We're here to discuss Evil Dead Rise, the trailer. I haven't seen it. Me either. We're going to watch it live. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I would love to watch it live and give like a you know reaction, but it copyright. Would be copyright. Yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. I, I edited that video so many times to turn the volume down, no matter what I did. I remember mm -hmm. that, was and it's like that small too. Like the yeah. the video was it Halloween oh, ends? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird though because like you, I didn't get a copyright for it, and I, I know your whole it your screen big. was like that. Yeah, I didn't get a copyright, and, dude. If somebody's hearing this without audio, it's not what you think. <laughs> so <you're doing laughs> this and that, it's not what you think. Uh -oh. But yeah, I wanted to show lots like, some clips. But if you haven't watched it and you're watching this, go watch it. Come back, uh, listen to us discuss, and leave a comment down below about what you think about the trailer. Yeah, so um, does, even though I don't really care what they think. Dan, you heard it here live. Your opinion does not fucking matter. <laughs> <laughs> the, when I first watched it, I was it came out. So for one, I was I got home from like a long day at work. My mm -hmm. buddy texted me and he's like, Hey man, New Evil Dead trailer. <laughs> he cut out for me. He just got yeah, froze. It froze. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm in my back. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just going to do that at complete random. Again. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so my buddy texted me, and he's like, uh, the new Evil Dead trailer's out or whatever. And so, God damn it, Chris. Look what you <laughs> fucking brought upon us. But so I, like, I got home, and I had to go look at the trailer, and it was like the 22nd tease thing. And I was like, ah, fuck. So then uh, the next day at work, I was having the craziest day. It was so busy. And like right at lunch rush, it became apparent that the actual trailer was out and i was like mm -hmm. i'm not waiting so i pulled it up on my phone in my box <laughs> <laughs> it froze again dude. dude i don't know if you're gonna say balls or bong or buddy three b's he's going for it. Oh, i don't know I I all frozen again you fuckers <laughs> you... <laughs> uh, my I, well, I said my boss is what i said okay okay yeah it wasn't my... <laughs> so I used balls sure it wasn't your bong? bong so yeah no uh i was trying to watch it while i was at work and I kept having to just watch like two seconds at a time. And there was like a glare and I was getting annoyed with my coworkers because they kept coming up to talk to me. And I was like, I'm trying to watch the fucking trailer for the new Evil Dead movie. And then I got home and I watched it on my TV and then I got my actual opinion. What was your guys' experience? Uh, do you want to go? Oh, uh, it's up to I you. I can go. I, I picked Jordan. <clears throat> Mine was recent. I didn't like. I was just telling you. Get, <laughs> I was telling, the stream. <laughs> but, well, I watched. I watched it twice before the stream, and then I watched uh, Mike when we watched a movie react to it to see what everybody else was kind of thinking. So mm -hmm. going into it, I purposefully like didn't watch it when it was released because I was going to do a trailer reaction on my channel, and that didn't pan out. So I've been like holding this in for what like for you know days and days, and then finally. Watching it tonight, I enjoyed. I know we'll talk about it a little bit more, but I enjoyed the fuck out of that out of the trailer. I think there there hasn't really been a bad installment in the Evil Dead franchise from I, Evil Dead, you know, to Army of Darkness. That's uh, what I said though, to Chris: is that it's like an undefeated streak. It really like, is. Absolutely. There's no content of Evil Dead that's like bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's even like a fucking asshole, and you're like, I don't like the remake. I think the remake's actually really good. It's my least favorite. The guy that keeps them. freezing. Someone likes my shirt. <laughs> That's my girlfriend. I think she joined in. <sighs> what about my shirt? <laughs> Fuck your shirt. <laughs> my shirt's badass. <laughs> yeah, I think your shirt's pretty cool. <laughs> Chris's like shirt, shirt though? My, my cream yeah, shirt. Your shirt is fucking weak sauce yeah. tonight. Your cream-colored right. fucking right. shirt on Listen, an evil man, dead I, stream. I had to throw... Hey, when mine gets bloody, it's going to look better than your guys'. <laughs> That's, that's true. I'm just Our saying. shirts will be ruined. <laughs> you got that? You got that borrowed shirt from R. Kelly. Oh. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> all right. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just joking. I'm just fucking um, with you. I just want to say thank you for the people that are in here. Hope and Beth. Uh, Beth, you may or may not see your baby picture in the background. We had a yeah with a Beth. candle the next to it. Yeah. <laughs> have a shrine. Have a shrine for you. Apparently, <laughs> that was pretty funny. But okay, so my experience. Okay, here. Let me. Pop this up there, Jordan. That's for you. Uh, my experience, I was actually off work, surprisingly. That's the first time ever off work whenever like a massive trailer drops. And I watched it as soon as possible. 
Right. And like you guys mentioned, like the movies for me, even the show, basically everything Evil Dead related. Uh, for me, I'm a fanboy, so I'm always going to say, oh, I fucking love it. But everything's been good. And I did have a little bit of a doubt, just a little bit, because yeah. it'll be a little bit different. It's not going to be in the cabin. It's not going to have Bruce. But the 2013, you know, Evil Dead kind of, t- to me, it might be a hot take, but showed that you don't need Bruce Campbell to make an Evil Dead movie for it to be good. And oh my God, I was that, blown that is away. coming from somebody who wants to eat chicken salad from <laughs> Bruce Campbell's cock. Okay. So like okay. <clears throat> saying that from you, not me, you're up. For me. I don't want I don't want to do that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, what I'm saying is you I know you. I don't know about Jordan. I'm sure Jordan is a Bruce Campbell fan, well, at least to like some extent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I love like, Bruce Campbell. We, yeah, okay. So we're this is a group of Bruce Campbell fucking exactly. rider dies. Bunch of Bruce Campbell dick writers, okay, and we are saying that we're okay with it not having Bruce. Oh, so absolutely. when I hear these fucking bandwagoning casuals come in and they're like, "I don't know, I just don't really think the series can fucking continue without him." One, Jane Levy already proved that you can make another iconic Evil Dead survivor character in Mia from the Evil Dead Four. I call it the fourth one. It's because it's not really a remake. It's like a whole other thing. How dare you? Yeah. Dude, I fucking love her. I I hope that whoever they get in this new one is just as likable and just as iconic as she was, because she was fucking awesome. And I hope that we get to see Mia again in the future. I'd love that. She's a great character. She is. I agree completely. She's also one of, uh, I think other than Ash, there's not many Evil Dead survivor characters that have been deadites and killed people and then also came back to being like a good guy again. Uh, no, certainly nobody that's been as fucked up as Mia was. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like she was like dismembered completely and then yeah. like put back together and stuff like that. So that's that's true. Um, also, the thing that she had to fight at the at her final boss was way scarier than I'm sorry anything that Ash had to kill. That fucking thing that crawled out of the ground when it was like raining yeah. blood and shit. I'm not fighting that. You serious? I yeah, pissed like, my pants. It's not like half of a torso. Like, <laughs> they have like legs or anything. I can't remember. It's been a minute. Uh, Did it just like crawl the whole time? I, it definitely didn't use its legs if it had them. Okay, I'm sorry, man. It, You're really comparing Henrietta to that. That's what I was about to say. Henrietta's pretty. Uh, and then evil Ash. Oh, I definitely Henrietta's evil. pretty hardcore uh, because she like shoved his face on her tit and like what about that squirting milk <laughs> what about oh, that fucking daring demon at the, at the end of season three like the big demon at the end of season three okay well I'm, I'm talking about the movie shit oh, you know what okay. i mean like if we're talking evil dead one to evil dead four okay what about i Ed would Nettley? much rather i'd much rather go through ash's journey through evil dead one than mia's journey through evil dead four you know what i'm saying okay. if we start bringing in sequels where he's fucking fighting like skeleton nights and shit then like it's a bit different time travel you know tr- big fucking tree monster with big mouth god like, i just had to have you clarify that because i'm not gonna have you disrespect uh ash williams in this live stream i i i love ash way more than all of you okay where is he at all right all right buddy i'm about to put him on mute <laughs> I, I do like that i have a pretty cool funny variant of that i think um, let me ask you guys, what kind of vibe did you get from the trailer? Jordan? Uh, they're, they're definitely going to be doing, I feel like the tonally, the, like the serious approach. Like if you go back to like army of darkness and a lot of evil dead too, the comedy, the comedic stuff in those movies. I mean, it, it makes them really, really well for me, but I, I like, I think it's just going to be dark and I think it's going to be ominous and I think it's going to be fucking gory as shit just from the trailer actually- alone. I had a friend that say that they didn't like that aspect of this new movie. Uh, really? And I've, I, that seems to be like whenever someone criticizes this new trailer, like what they don't like to see in it, that seems to be where they're going from is like they miss the slapstick, the goofy, like Bruce Campbell's wacky facial expressions and stuff like that. And like with the new one going like balls to the wall horror, I, the thing I've been saying is like, yeah, there's like obviously a comedic element to Evil Dead and stuff, but Evil Dead 4 uh it was like pure fucking horror zero yeah. comedy and that was mm-hmm. awesome and honestly evil dead one the original movie was not supposed to have any comedic elements at all you know what i mean it's just mm-hmm. because 
of the budgetary restraints and like goofy, like unintentional comedy happening that they leaned into the comedy stuff in sequels. Yeah, like but that, that, yeah. that first that's movie cool. is a pure fucking horror movie, also. You know, mm-hmm. that's true. It just so happened to have like unintentional comedy in there, like the bookshelf. Oh, the no, bookshelf, yes, yeah. Uh, <laughs> then not Bruce Campbell talking to well, Ash talking to Scotty. We're gonna make it out. And he's clearly dead. He's just like yeah. pouring the water on. Him. <laughs> yeah, I love like, that, Scotty. <laughs> You'd Scotty like that, huh? is a <laughs> Scotty's a fucking stud, honestly. Dude, dude, he hits uh sh- I think it was Cheryl, yeah, he hits her with the axe and big boots are like fucking Kevin Nash. I was like, <laughs> notice his uh his hair changed too, like the way his yeah. hair changes and shit, like where That's they had to film. Best. Yeah, yeah. Like, he has short hair, like whenever his girlfriend, a little bit before his girlfriend gets possessed and like pops up and you know grabs him and he has to dismember her. His hair is completely short. Kind of looks like Harrison Ford to me a little bit. I don't know if I'm the only yeah. one that thinks that. I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I love that. Dude, I, when I was little, like I saw Evil Dead. I saw it in the order that it was released. I saw Evil Dead. Mm-hmm. I thought it was eerie. It was, one of, at the time, one of the creepiest horror movies I'd seen. And uh, then we go to Evil Dead 2, but that was years after I had seen the first Evil Dead. And I didn't care for it when I first watched it. Uh, and I was like, I w- tried to watch Army of Darkness. I didn't care for that. It took me a few years to really get into the other two that I love now. We've watched them a lot together. Me and you have Chris, like oh, I yeah. adore those movies now, uh, as well as the show. I mean, and the reboot, I saw the reboot in the theater when it was I released. It was fucking and awesome. I was, I, I was actually one of the biggest shocks of that year because I was expecting to fucking hate that movie. And when I walked out, I was just, I definitely went it. into it wanting to hate it. I was going to just like, I was like going to just brutalize that movie. Just, by virtue of it existing. Who the fuck is calling him a Stone Cold Fox when I'm literally right over here? Where Banana bread. Call me Jorgen, though. That guy? Better than Jordan. This guy? <laughs> over this guy? Fuck. I don't know, man. Listen, I, you know, it, it, it it's hard to, to embrace the sexiness. That You're definitely about. a better singer than I am. I know that. I appreciate that. Do you actually sing? Like... Uh, I I like to, but uh, I sing a lot to Bree, my girlfriend, just to be funny, you know. Uh, but I, and I I like to sing, but it's not something that I'm like confident in enough that I'm gonna go put myself out there to be like, you know. Who yeah. Can sing? Do you play any instruments? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I know if you played like the the guitar or drums or anything like. Dev, Dev and Uh, it it didn't pop up here on my. On here, but on my phone it says that that guy said you look like shit, Devin. So I don't know if you. I look like him. shit. Coming from who? I can't see a picture of this guy. Let me let me criticize this picture. <laughs> Zach Galavanakis looking guy. <laughs> Pathetic dude. Banana bread. I'm Pathetic. putting your time out. Time Banana out. bread. <laughs> oh lord. Um, what were we talking about? Evil Dead. Wasn't that what we're here for? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, what I was gonna say about the new Evil Dead movie that I think. I like that they're keeping intact. Like they're the one of the things you, you can, it doesn't have to be in a cabin. It doesn't have to have Bruce. It doesn't have to have comedy. I think the thing that you have to have for evil dead to be evil dead or feel like evil dead to me is it has to have like a survival horror element. You know what I mean? Like uh, how are we going to get out of here? How are we going to live? How are we going to survive these things? How are we going to outsmart yeah. them? We got to find weapons. We got to make things. We've got to nurse wounds you know, and in this one, it, like with the, I think the apartment building setting, it's going to keep that like claustrophobia element intact that was in the uh, cabin. But then you've also got like elevators and storage closets and all these other places that we can use. But they also have a chainsaw and it, I think a shotgun too, which is like, that's like the yeah. two things that you have to have that are perfect de- dead eye killing weapons. You know what I mean? Yeah, we can now lock down and confirm that Jordan is a Stone Cold Fox. That's two votes for him, yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel loved. I feel loved. I don't ever get feel. No, I do. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You might want to stop there, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say in my everyday life, but not by, not by hope. Like I tell you, I, I love I, you every I, day, man. I feel, you, I caress you, you don't tell me you love me at all anymore, dude. You, you quit, you know. <laughs> Because you've not been putting out as much anymore, man. I'm just being honest. With you. <sighs> oh, no. I know. I don't feel the love lately. I'm going through a change, you know, Sorry. A, a sex change. <laughs> um, pretty much what um, what I feel about like the tone of the, the new Evil Dead trailer. Hopefully, the movie itself is that it, like you mentioned, Devin, 
it's trying to be more like in tone of the 2013 Evil Dead, which I think is absolutely fun. They like, even got I want the more same logo, like yeah. the like red tree branch kind of. Yeah, thing. I, I love that. I love that, and I would love to see more. I say this, and I haven't even watched this movie, but if this one does good, I would love to see more movies like this, like the book getting around and just just different adventures in the evil dead universe even called adventures probably tragedy yeah in the okay, evil so dead universe yeah. you said get the book around or whatever <clears throat> i've mm-hmm. got a theory that i was gonna throw your guys uh throw your guys away and see if you uh concur with my diagnosis um right. in the trailer we see clips of the mom like murdering people in like a wooded setting and there's like that yep. cabin that's like the triangle kind of thing and there's a part where, like she like curls up someone's hair and like scalps them and shit like that, like really Ooh. brutal stuff. That uh, was there's, crazy. There's, we'll get into the gore in a second because there's tons of like standout like crazy gore moments and stuff like that. Um, but is she is? Do you think that the opening of the movie is going to be in a wooded setting and that she will take the book home with her? So like it's kind of sharing sort of a a, a through line with the 2013 one where like the book is still in like an uh, like a cabin or something and then she'll get possessed and then go home like it like hides inside of her basically and then it comes out again when she's at the apartment complex and her sister comes to visit or whatever <clears throat> I, I think that sounds possible. pretty good like i don't know like how do i word this i'm hoping that it would be something like that and she just doesn't stumble across it like a i don't know like a book shop you know yeah. kind of weird kind of convenient and funny at the same time but well i, uh, I mean ash he, he had it like just in his fucking closet with like his <laughs> yeah porn like forever and he's yeah. like you want poetry check this shit out it'll check blow your mind <laughs> yeah. um so either way that she finds it i think we'd be fine but uh, to me that kind of does make sense that she would find it in that way i mean if not i don't know why she would, you know, like that that woody setting, you know, like why wow, that that's would true. be there. Um, unless they're throwing us a curveball and that's the end of the movie. Which, it's possible I, too. I don't know. To me, it just sounds more logical with the way that Devin explained it. I think that's how it's gonna happen. Well, I am a genius screenwriter. Yeah. I mean so it, that's without it just tracks, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You expect thought, the oh. same <clears throat> fucking auteur mind who created Doc. <laughs> I love that. That was perfect timing to. Uh, oh, beautiful! I'm just gonna take this moment in. I, did I fucking freeze when yeah. I was sucking my own dick? God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! Did you? Okay, where did I stop at during my little speech? You said the brilliant mind that created. Back- <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it! Uh, yeah, well, it was a beautiful <laughs> statement. <laughs> It was like the fucking thing was like, uh, we're going to pump the brakes on this guy. Like, <laughs> Absolutely not. No self-promotion here. <laughs> uh, it was, I, I brought up something that was terrible that I created that just like, it was like a self-deprecating thing, but it was mm-hmm. really funny. And you know, <laughs> it's not captured on, on screen. Yeah, basically. And I'm not going to retry it because then like, it's stupid. It's like, okay, wait, hold on. Everyone be quiet. I'm going to try it again live in front of you. Okay. And the joke was <laughs> it would just <laughs> yeah. fucking fall flat on his face. Oh, um, I can't wait to go back and rewatch that. <laughs> rewatch <movie>. that. <laughs> the oh, brilliant man. mind that created, <laughs> <You such> created... <laughs> perfect timing. It really was. Um, uh, what What was your favorite part of the trailer? Like your favorite gore moment? The There's chainsaw. tons of them. The chainsaw. Mm-hmm. Just it so? being there, I can't wait to see that thing in action again. Practical gore with chainsaw. There was a meme on uh, Facebook that I shared. And it said something along the lines of like, there's a lot of you cinephiles out there that think you know the difference between a good movie and a bad movie. No, the difference between a, uh, what a good movie is, is when there's a guy and he's got a chainsaw and there's a hot girl and he shoves the chainsaw in her body and it, it cuts her open and there's blood and it goes everywhere and you see all of it. That's a good movie. <laughs> and so that's what I'm hoping is because the chainsaw action in Evil Dead uh four was mm-hmm. awesome but it was all like back loaded you know it all oh, showed yeah. up at the end which i imagine that might be what they're going to do with this one too but i just you know we don't get to see chainsaws unless it's text chainsaw massacre or evil yeah. dead really you know that's true i don't know what my favorite part of the trailer would be there was a lot of uh i don't know in terms of like kills or or what 
or, or appear to be kills in the movie. Like uh, the the chick who's laying like on the ground and then she gets like the drill mm. just because oh, of the, yeah. like the clothes and I don't like eye stuff. I know uh, my girlfriend doesn't like the eye shit either, but like that and then her outside of the door and the kid through the peephole, that was pretty fucking eerie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the hair rip, which you've already, that was fucking, yeah, you could hear scalping. the snap and like, the, oh. You brought up the thing with the, the little peephole in the door. It's yeah. also on the screen behind you, which is awesome. Um, I think what's so scary about that clip is that, like, when the Deadite is talking to her, it's not like, rawr, 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 like doing like a Deadite voice. It's like just a normal voice. I like that to too. And so when she's looking through the people, like talking to her mom, it's almost like the Deadite doesn't think the girl can see her. So it's just doing a voice. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's like true. to convince her. And that's what's like really unnerving about it, because that voice is coming out of such a fucking terrifying no face. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so then it's like the manipulative stuff that Deadites will do is because uh, we've seen Deadites instantly like make themselves look normal again just to like oh, sell yeah. being a person. So I feel like it was just like it didn't know that the girl could see her, and it was just trying to like uh, deceive her way into that door. And I thought so it, pr- it probably cool. didn't because in its mind the girl's not tall enough to reach the peephole. Yeah. Also, so that's actually a good point because you see she climbs up on, on something to look, mm-hmm. but the dead eyes almost like, like you said, just trying to be deceiving. So that's pretty fucking eerie. That's what I, yeah, it's eerie is what I thought. Like because you don't know like you if you. <laughs> it froze again. Yeah. Oh, my God. Right, banana bread's not a big fan of this. Uh... Damn it! You froze on us. Yeah, I knew that. I also saw Banana Bread call us boring. It hurt my feelings. I was really worried about what Banana Bread thought of our stream. I know Banana Bread personally. <laughs> you've, you've had dealings with him in the past? Yeah. Told me to kill myself one time on a video. <laughs> Banana Bread did? Yeah. Is there any more to that? <laughs> I'm, I'm no, curious. I just... I just, you know, wallowed in self pity for a while, and you better. I said, I, need, I still need to kill myself, banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Georgenko is beat. What is that, dude? I think it was supposed to be Jordan. <laughs> I, I guess. Still banana bread. Fucking trash. <laughs> <laughs> what? What about the part, guys? Whenever. Um... She says that uh, mommy's mommy is with the maggots now. What do you think about that? That, that was, was cool. creepy. Mm-hmm. That was creepy too. The way, the way her face was, man, it was like it was like I, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it was pretty unnerving. <clears throat> the way that she like popped up there and like the whole bathtub sequence. I think it's going to be a really good one. The whole trailer was was really good and really gory and it almost and borderlines. Do what the cheese grater scene too? Oh yeah, mm. the cheese grater. Yeah. I love the the simple creative stuff like that, like that we haven't seen before, to my knowledge. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. everyone knows a cheese grater, and everyone's like run their fingers along one and knows how that feels. So then, like, just imagining that, like, against your skin, like you don't have to do a lot of mental gymnastics to imagine what that would feel like. You know, versus if you have some crazy thing where, like, I just fucking freeze. What are you laughing at, Chris? <laughs> This comment that we just got. Oh, let's see it. I can't wait to see it. Is it about banana bread? Yeah. Banana <laughs> bread? No, we haven't, dude. Jordan, I think banana bread's calling you a fucking liar. I think you've been called out. <laughs> oh, I'll have to contact banana bread after the stream. You're going to tell him never to humiliate you like that again. <laughs> yeah, Ever exactly. Again. Don't ever call me a liar in front of the world <laughs> ever again. <laughs> we definitely have had many, many dark nights. Oh my god, that's creepy. The whole trailer was. I have to show it. It to was, you. yeah. It really, really is. I don't. Um, go ahead. I don't. It almost borderlines on, and this is just from watching it twice, like quickly. Uh, I need to watch it a couple more times to make a full like assessment or opinion on it, but. It almost borderlines on a little too much, a little more than I wanted to see. Just, but what that... if this is the only trailer that we get? 
That's that's fun. true. Plus, there's and, and a, but a lot of it they did a good job on showing you where you're like, oh man, okay, they showed quite a bit. But also, there's no real context for the story other than here's this mom. Like, there's a lot that's that's still left to be found with the movie. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited. Like, it's it's not too much, but you know what I mean. Like, it's borderlines. It's close to it for me. But uh, <clears throat> you guys, watch the Green Band trailer because it it kind of shows a little bit more. Yes, uh, I watched it because they played it in front of Megan when I went and saw that uh, last night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it does show a little bit more of like the kind of the story beat. Yeah. Yeah. That was Megan, by the way. <laughs> Megan. Megan. Think of Drake and Josh whenever I do that. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Is he going to come back? I don't know. Might as well get me a beer while I'm down here. <laughs> I'll be right back, dude. Hold on one second. Sorry. Yeah, I think we lost Devin here. And Banana Bread with the snod comment that Sub Zero wins. Banana Bread, you're about to get timed out. Okay. And that is my review of Megan. That's what I want to say to Banana Bread, dude. Pathetic comment. you guys hear my review of Megan? I did not. What did you think about it? Oh, I just said it. You guys weren't listening? No. <clears throat> I thought it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did Banana Bread say while I was fucking gone, while he was hiding? Uh, he, he, made, he made a snide comment. Oh, was it about me? Where he, where he froze. Oh, Sub-Zero wins. Can you see? Can you see banana <laughs> bread? Like Devin, can you see the 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 photo that he has, like his avatar? Or whatever yeah, it's parts? like the little Zach Galifianakis <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, Jordan, how dare you ask about Megan? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Megan's oh, a doll. Megan's a robot. <laughs> you're, you're, robot. You're in the doghouse now. Jordan uh, is Jordan is now on that side of me too. Yeah, right, it's we'll, moved. Okay, we'll flip it. <laughs> You punched yourself oh, fuck. the wrong way. <laughs> he, he did it. It moved. It moved. Yeah. Um. Okay. So in the scene, like uh, in the trailer, is the scene is the person eating like barbed wire. What is that that they're ingesting? That's uh, coming out glass, of glass, wasn't it? Glass. But it's like. <laughs> Dude, this is pure comedy stream, guys. You're in a channel. Hope, 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 hope when you all enjoy it. Fuck me. God damn it. I wish I could see what it looks like on the other end when I freeze. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's pretty funny. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. I bet it is. I wonder why. Well, you guys both look like you're like in crisp HD, but <laughs> I look like I'm in that movie uh, Skinamarink. You guys heard of that? <laughs> no. I okay. You have not heard of Skinamarink? No. It's I, it's like a new Shudder movie that's like really fucking grainy and like. Oh, really? Yeah. Not been I wonder sure why that. that is. I wonder why I'm so like, um, fucking. Why don't we keep freezing? You know, <laughs> Devin Devon Dudley. <laughs> Are you a Fuck fan the of the Dudley Boys? Team 3D. The no, only... I'm not actually. I do the not only... like the Dudley Boys. The only one I like, Spock. But the only <laughs> one I like is fucking Stacy Keebler, and she was only like, a team. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Stacy was part of the Dudley Boys, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah, for like I think a so. Bit. She like yeah, she was like the Duchess of Dudleyville, I think is what they mm-hmm. called her. Yeah, good times. <laughs> yeah, we need to do a wrestling podcast and just talk about like review pay per views and stuff. Yes, That's yes, awesome. that would yes, be we awesome. Do. That'd be we fucking do sick. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so, that would be cool. The uh, the location, like the setting. Yes, I've watched the first Demons movie. I've not watched the second. Night of the Demons? No, 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 just Demons. Oh, with the mask? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of people are saying that Demons 2, Evil Dead Rise, kind of have that, I'll, I don't know how to say it, like maybe not same tone, but very similar in terms of like location. Uh, I've not seen it. I went to watch a little bit of it the other day. Uh, internet went out. Uh, kind of gets me curious like to watch that movie because I love the way that this one's like feeling. 
in terms of mm -hmm. atmosphere and location. Uh, the scene where I'm pretty sure it's an elevator could be wrong, but that blood just comes out of nowhere. Like, oh, yeah. Like shining, you know, like yeah. Robot, you know? Um, I've seen a, a picture. It's kind of crazy. Uh, a picture fan art of an elevator and like the blood was about to come out of it. I don't know if that's pure coincidence, if that person just knew, but I'm so glad that that is in the movie. The uh, elevator? Yeah, like the elevator and like the blood, kind of like the shining. Um, yeah. Because that's I've seen honestly, the shining, Chris. Have you? Which yeah, version? The superior version? <laughs> the, the Mick Garris one? Yeah, that's the one I watched. The superior version? Have you seen the yeah. King's James version? <laughs> the King's James version. <laughs> Yeah, I saw the New Testament version. Yeah, I need a lot. Yeah, a you better lot. Bring lot. Yeah, yeah, you're lit like you're a, a cryptic supervillain in a post credit scene, and we don't want to quite reveal who you are yet. I very like, well, we don't know who's going to like actually play you. In yeah, years. but then like the outline <laughs> of you, the fans are going to go, oh, that's Jordan. <laughs> that's how I feel. Or, yeah, Jordan. <laughs> Thanks, fucking banana bread. Jordan. But... Yeah, I just I love that scene. I'm so glad that the fan art kind of translate into the movie, and I'm curious on what else that people were speculating with this setting is actually going to happen. Uh, well, some I of the that I just like horror movies that are set in apartment buildings. Yeah, because you get like it is claustrophobic and it's urban, and like you don't know everyone that lives in the building. There's strangers there. But my question to you, because you said what's going to happen inside this like new setting, are we going to see deadites of other people that live in this building because in these trailers it makes it seem like it's set just in her unit but uh, you would think that the deadites would spread you know what i mean yeah and there's yeah, a lot um, of people that probably live in this fucking building i know that there is a scene you know that like you mentioned you know just like on her floor uh there's a scene where there's a bunch of dead bodies i wonder how much of that is just their section or the entire <clears throat> building itself it's true. That's interesting. Uh, don't know how far they're going to go with it. Hopefully, they don't just do just like one little area. Uh, explore the whole entire fucking apartment. Yeah, I say uh, the the basement, <laughs> the fucking uh, the main top. Fucking go all out with it. Yes, that's what I, I would do. Amazing. Yeah, well, but like okay, so the scene where they have her out, like she's locked outside the apartment. Mm -hmm. Um, like there's there's a bunch of other places that deadite could go. You know, to just That's cause fucking havoc. So why is she trying to get back in there when she she could knock on the door of any other apartment and hmm. be like, you know, hey, I need help or something, and then fuck with those people who don't know that she's like a deadite. <laughs> <laughs> who? The, what the fuck is banana bread's beef with me? <laughs> he keeps calling you Devon. <laughs> yeah, he keeps calling me Devon. <laughs> He must not even fucking know who he's fucking with. Uh, I'm like Riddick. It. You know, like when Riddick kills that thing in the movie? You guys ever seen Pitch Black? <laughs> he's uh, like... I haven't, actually. Oh, you haven't? Okay. No. He like, this alien like runs up on him. And then like, it's been like killing people <laughs> left and right. But it runs up on Riddick and he's like, It did not know who he was fucking with. You know? <laughs> Man, he... All right. All right, banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get him like immediately. So you put user in timeout. You're putting banana bread in timeout for five minutes. For five minutes, he needs to kind of pop down a little bit. He needs to pipe down a little bit. <laughs> a little yeah, bit. this is this isn't a four person stream, banana bread. It's a two and a half person stream. You will not this... disrespect my guest on this show, damn it. <laughs> we should have banana bread on one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll have to see that coward show his face. <laughs> that ugly mug. <laughs> I know you can hear me. You just can't top. Yeah. I want you to sit there and stew. I have a <laughs> microphone <laughs> and you don't. <laughs> you ever seen the wedding ever singer? be on this stream. You yeah, I love the wedding yeah. yeah. When he's like, uh, well, I have a microphone and you don't. So you will listen to every goddamn word I have to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So and so are newlyweds. Whip it in. <laughs> Why isn't this a wedding singer stream, Chris? Why'd you bring us on to talk about Evil Dead? I know, damn it. We gotta go through uh, Adam Sandler's film, so oh, just yeah, like filmography. 
Yeah. Just list like and rank all of them. Uh, at the end of the day, let me ask you guys: What do you want to see from this movie? What would you like to see? Jordan. Um, uh, I mean, I, I would like to. I'm going into the movie with like really high expectations, which I want to knock on wood because I don't want to say that and that'd be completely horrible, but. Just like we said, like the trailer looks really good. It looks solid. Not only does the gore look good, but the cinematography looks good. I like the, oh, yeah. the tone visually that set. I like the. I think there's many places they could go with this high rise type setting, and uh, I don't know. I'm just I'm hoping it's fun. It's dark. It's gory. The acting just from the trailer looks pretty good. Anyway, the directing we know is going to be good. Uh, so I think it's going to be one that shocks a lot of people. I hope it is anyway. I know, I know I'll be checking it out. Yeah, you do love I, the wedding singer, honey. I think so too, man, because a lot of people before the trailer were like, What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, like, what's going on here? Like, we've not really heard too much about it. That you know, seems no to Chris be the Campbell. case with a lot of movies now, don't you think? Yep. Like, mm-hmm. it's they le- they co- go right down to the wire before they drop a trailer and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, we didn't yeah. see a trailer for the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre until like a fucking like the week of its release, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought that the Evil Dead movie was going to be similar because they were going to be putting it on HBO Max. Yeah, and I was like, God damn. Which that also, I uh, if if this was one of those things where they release it just on streaming and it's not a physical release or anything like that either, that would piss me off. Oh yeah, as a hardcore Evil Dead collector, I have to own the fucking movie, even if it's mm-hmm. the if you, even if it's like the fucking Last Jedi of the <laughs> Evil Dead series, I have to fucking buy it. Somewhere yeah. Jeremy is out there agreeing with you, smiling. He hates, <laughs> he hates The Last Jedi. It's the worst movie ever made. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's fucking um, bad. It's Jordan's <laughs> favorite movie, though? Oh uh, Yeah, he loves it. That was his mm-hmm. introduction to Star Wars. Yeah. Absolutely. You you hated every Star Wars movie except that one. I watched that, that one first just to, to piss Chris and Jeremy off. Wait, me? <laughs> Jeremy. How dare you? Did no, you I, I, no, dude. I'm, I have sat through... 20 minutes and of the i've not watched any of the star wars movies other than the first like 20 minutes of the first one i didn't grow up with them he also you didn't watch power rangers growing up either did you uh i watched the cartoon a little bit but i watched teenage mutant ninja turtles oh, right, well, fine. okay who's your favorite turtle wait we're gonna say it on three you ready mm-hmm. okay one that. two Three, Michelangelo. Raphael. I was gonna say my Michelangelo. Fucking Jordan. God damn you. Yeah, but now I've I've never got into. I want to rewatch. I want to sit down and watch Star Wars one day because there it was a, a time that when I wa- tried to watch the first one, I wasn't enjoying it fully really into it. Yeah, you know, there was a few different things going on in life. So I think if I sat down and kind of checked them out for the first time, I'd, I'd find some interest in them. Honestly, as a person who likes Star Wars, don't. <laughs> Was it? I just feel like it's so fucking huge and like impenetrable that you're gonna dislike it. You know, like it's it's something you can't even just watch now without all this other shit flying around your head while you're watching it. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it feels like literally impenetrable. And Star Wars fans are some of the worst fans ever. I've heard that. Yeah, that's. I don't know. I, I would like to check it out, but yeah, it seems pretty daunting to try to watch all of them now. And every I threw falls. shade at you when I froze. You didn't hear it, I don't think. Uh, yeah, about the oh, when you froze. Yeah, you I said? threw shade at you. You didn't hear it though. What'd you say? Uh, I said Star Wars fans are the fucking worst. Just look at oh, Chris. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like my favorite movie, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, people like that, dude. Do the fucking trumpet, man. Have you guys seen that? Yeah, yeah. Wait, you gotta watch it, bro. You gotta watch. He's froze. Watch the trumpet man after the stream, Devin, if you haven't. The trumpet man? The trumpet man. He's a little angry guy. That <laughs> he's upset he that a guy. Like me? No, no. Okay. Uh, well, your you, voice, you your agree, voice though, that I sound you. like that. Like the way I talk about my opinions is like that. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Sometimes when you're very heated. <laughs> He's yeah, like, you know, he's like, you know, talent piece of shit. <laughs> like, stuff. And he just looks at the guy and goes, 
<laughs> it's so fucking funny. But yeah. Okay. I, I did it again. <laughs> there, well, see, there's um Chris, I don't think you have a fucking mean bone like in your body. You know, it's like because you you will talk about movies that you fucking despise and your opinion of it is always like like, OK, for instance, uh, Last Jedi, Chris doesn't like it either. Mm-hmm. And I'll be talking about Last Jedi and I'm saying, like, if you don't like it, good. But if you do like it, we're not fucking friends anymore. Go fuck yourself. I fucking <laughs> hate you. You don't know fuck all about Star Wars. And Chris is over here like, man, I, I didn't care for it. But like that's just my opinion. Like, yeah. <laughs> like he, Listen, he can't so, get angry about fucking anything. Super I'm over here passive. like fire, like explosions are going off, and he's just like a nice smoldering kind of little bonfire, you know? Like, <laughs> man, I'll never forget like the times like uh, starting doing YouTube for the first time. Uh, I would like a movie that a lot of people didn't like, and I just I don't want to make anybody. Not saying that you want to do that. Obviously, obviously, no, obviously, 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 uh, obviously, is he froze again? I was <laughs> okay. Uh, you, you totally messed my fuck up. I said ominously. No, I heard it. I can, I can hear you guys when I freeze. Okay. Just, yeah. Freeze. So you better watch what you're fucking saying. Okay. All right. I won't speak <laughs> about the Amish on you. Okay. When you're frozen. <laughs> <Not> the Amish. <laughs> Cause I know. Uh, anyway, that my fuck up. Um, Love Springer. <laughs> that's a good that's a good movie it uh, really is obviously you don't want to make people feel that way whenever you're talking about your opinion you're very pa- you know passionate about it and stuff like that i just uh make people feel what way like you know you don't want to make them feel bad that if they like yeah, the movie. okay well maybe you do i wasn't trying to put words in your mouth <laughs> what i'm trying to say is i've felt that way people are like what the fuck you like this movie it's not art. It's like dude i like entertainment it doesn't have to be fucking a masterpiece you don't have to insult people in my opinion, I you do. Have to people. Well, see, we're just different sides of the coin. That's what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're we're the same, but different. You yes. know what I mean? Get yeah, my two face coin out and flip it. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's like, like you can talk face. to this guy or you can talk to this guy, but we both you... don't like it. <laughs> yeah, so... I'll be the good cop. You can be the bad cop. That's that's how it always is. <laughs> I forget what it. I think there's like one movie I've heard Chris ever like actually be mean to, and it was the Mortal Kombat movie, the newest oh, I hate one. That movie. Oh yeah, yeah fuck it. It's one of the fucking worst movies ever, goddamn made. People who like it are fucking idiots. I let it. You know, if you like it, it's because you just don't like Mortal Kombat. So you just went to it, and you were just like, oh, I don't know what this is, but it was fun, I guess. Shut the fuck up. And then when I tell you that I don't like it, and you're like, well, you just don't like things to be different. No, I don't like them to be different. I want them to be the fucking same. <laughs> what if... <clears throat> we Unless, of course, together. we're talking about Evil Dead, in which case I'm very open to changes, and I think it would be great in a new setting and without Bruce Campbell. I like it in a hole. You like it in your hole. <laughs> he likes it in his hole. Cortana. Cortana? You're talking about I think Halo? He, I think, no, no. I think he meant Katana. This guy can't spell what the fuck. <laughs> Cortana. Um, pretty much, man. Uh, that movie's trash. But I, I would just love to see, um, fucking obviously the things that you want from Evil Dead movies, the gore. The fucking the soundtrack, man, like the fucking gnarly ass fucking sound effects, the unnerving feeling. The dead ops look amazing uh, so far. I think, I think they're gonna be really brutal. Are we gonna um, get more of that? Like in Evil Dead One, I'm so sorry. I keep interrupting you guys. No, you're fine. Um, in Evil Dead One, when she's like uh-huh. counting cards, do you remember that? Oh yeah, yes, and yeah. Then, more of like nine a mind of game. hearts, you know, and then like starts. Did it freeze again for you? It did, yeah. Uh, that's about the change, man. Banana and bread. You know what I mean, though? Like the the, the creepy kind of like uh, less gore, but more like horror, like psychological fucking with you. Like, because I found stuff like that in the original Evil Dead really fucking scary. Um, and if we get more of that, I'm all about it. You know what I mean? Exactly. I, absolutely. I love the mind games that Dead Ots play. Uh, you know, with their prey. Sit down, son. Get fruise. 
Oh my god, dude! One more outburst and you're going to timeout. Dude. Yeah, one more outburst, you're going back into the timeout. Jeez. I'm hiding Banana- behind Chris Brock, motherfucker, and he'll put you in timeout just to protect me. I will. Banana bread. Let me ask your opinion. What do you think of the Evil Dead movies? I would love to hear his fucking yeah. stupid opinion about the Evil Dead movies. Get first. Oh my god, this guy's a class act. I bet he hates it. Unless he, he agrees does, with man. us. What if he agrees with us and then I have to be nice to him? <laughs> um, Beth, Hope, what is your guys' favorite Evil Dead movie? If you are still are watching. Are they a bunch of fake fans? I already know. Real fans. I already know Beth. Can I guess Beth's? Yes. Second guys. I bet Beth is an Army of Darkness stan. You may or may not be correct. I thought you said you knew it. I do, but I'm waiting for her to comment. Try not to steal her thunder. <clears throat> Unless she quit watching. That'd be embarrassing, buddy. I know. <laughs> if she dropped... <laughs> oh! <laughs> <clears throat> That's a good should, one. Should we ask my girlfriend? A great favorite? one. Yes, ask your girlfriend. Okay. You're in here. Yeah, one second. Bray! Evil Dead 4 is hey, trash. Bray! <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be one pissed off guy. He goes... <laughs> yeah, I think he just seen it. <laughs> one second. Say, say it right into this mic. You don't know? You're going to humiliate me in front of God and everybody. <laughs> No, I just said we're we're asking. Their girlfriends have already answered. You'll be the only one that didn't. The first one, she's lying. Don't feel I bad. It. My girlfriend's actually. She's not. I don't know if she's still in here or not, but she's actually never. I've been showing her horror movies here lately, like The Thing. Showed her The Fly. Showing her stuff that she grew up with horror, but not like I did. Not like crazy, crazy into horror. I don't know unless she's seen it without me that she's seen any Evil Dead movie. Really? Yet. Okay. Well, that that question just she doesn't have to answer that, where she hasn't seen it. Unless she's seen it without me, it's just possible she might have seen them before. Uh, Banana Bread is shitting on Evil Dead Four over here, and he's just saying it to get a rise out of me. But this fucking idiot doesn't know that I <laughs> don't care. <laughs> like... I knew he was gonna do that, man. Banana bread, I just want you to know that I don't think you're a fucking idiot. I know you are. <laughs> Banana bread said thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he respected your uh, your opinion. What is his icon of? Who is that character? Is this a video game character I've never heard of? I have no idea, man. He hit me with the no you. He hit me with the, <laughs> I, I tried no to... the Uno reverse. <laughs> yeah. Hope, yeah. Jordan, why have you not showed your girlfriend Evil Dead movies? We've not watched them yet. We're digging into I them mean, into thing, the fly. We watched just day by day watching new stuff. We watched I showed her That's Terrifier awesome. and then we I showed her Terrifier too. And isn't that as a guy who's clearly in like a similar position to me where you have a girlfriend that's like likes these things but just doesn't hasn't seen a lot of them? Yeah. yeah, like, isn't it awesome to watch it with them? To watch their face, get, and you get that like secondhand experience of them watching it for the first time. You know what I mean? Absolutely, it's yeah. such an awesome feeling. Like, I, I fucking loved showing Brie Seven and Saw, and like getting to see those endings work on someone else who hasn't seen it yet. And I got like that thrill of seeing exactly. it again. You know, um, seeing Evil Dead through Brie. And having Ash like hook up the chainsaw hand, and she had like just never even fucking known about that. Like it was just in the whole it's, movie. It's, you know? it's magical. Yeah, really. It's, a, it's there's no feeling like it. Like one of the my favorite ones uh, that we watched together. I'm looking at my collection. Uh, can Candyman. Candyman. You're a slacker. She had, I, I don't know if she'd seen it prior. Oh, thank you, Hope. I love you too, babe. <laughs> uh, but uh, oh fuck it, we'll watch Evil Dead. Like. Whenever you come down, like if you come down tomorrow, we'll start. I'll start you off right. Watch Evil Dead. We're Chris, planning on ever, watching. Chris, did you ever get around to showing your girlfriend uh, Phantasm? Uh, we started it. 
<sighs> and we didn't get to finish it. It was pretty late at night. I was wanting to kind of recreate the first time I watched it. Very late at night. I feel like that's like the best time I watched it. Oh, yeah. Jordan's house. When you're and, like kind of tired, but awake yes. enough for a movie. Yes. Yeah. And I remember watching it up at his house for the first time. Looked outside and there was just nothing but fog. It fog. Was perfect <sighs> time to watch it. It was amazing. But I just want to say that my experience... It was so funny uh, watching Evil Dead 2 with Beth. Um, whenever, you know, gets the chainsaw hand, all that stuff. Dun, da, da, dun. Camera pan. Groovy. <laughs> and then she just laughed. I was like, over here, like, this is badass. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. Laughed, yeah. Like, laughed in a good way. Yeah. I was just like, dude, that is badass. Yeah. Because you're laughing with the movie. Yeah. You know. The, it's, it's, it's cheesy, but that's what I love about it. You know yeah. what I mean? Ash is uh, the cheese. <clears throat> I had a girlfriend once uh, who... I, I'm dead serious. I love this is just to, a proof of how much I love Evil Dead, but it was also like mm-hmm. a really pathetic story at the same time. Um, who did not like Evil Dead. And I remember having a conversation with uh Zach, and I was like, dude, do you think like it would be a bit extreme if I broke up with her? <laughs> 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 and then like uh we st- continued dating for a few months. You still there, Chris, or did you freeze? I, I no, froze. I froze. I'm here. Um, the, I, I, in a moment of anger during our like final argument as we were parting ways, I was like, I should have broke up with you the minute I knew you didn't like Evil Dead. <laughs> I literally <laughs> fucking said that to her. But... Rused? <laughs> Does he speak French? Is it, like being translated? Like, like... <clears throat> no, Banana man. bread, man. It's, it's Roz. Yeah, learn how to spell, idiot. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like he's kind of trolling at this point. Yeah, well, his yeah. name is Banana Bread. Hell yeah. Banana Bread, dude. You got to respect him. Not a fan. Talk about evil Fred. Fred. There, there is no Evil Fred. Evil Fred. You guys ever <laughs> seen uh, Evil Ed? I have it's not. been a long time. but I have Ooh, seen It's it. a good one. Years. Chris, you'd fucking love that movie. It's fucking really? awesome. Uh, it's this dude that's like an editor. That's why he's evil Ed. Like, mm-hmm. uh, and he's an editor on horror films. And watching them like twenty four seven for his job drives him crazy. And he becomes like evil and stuff. And it's so funny because there's a lot of the movies runtime is eaten up by the clips of the movies he's watching. And there's like like Bill Mosley's in some of them doing like oh, voiceover. Oh, fuck, yeah. yeah, and it's awesome. And like the the shit sometimes like you're just hearing the movie. And it's like so insane what the fuck is going on. Like he's like sitting there like this, like just and you can just see like the, the colors like flashing over his face. And you hear the movie, and it's like a guy going like, "It's molesting time." Oh shit! <laughs> and there's a there's a bit where he's like, "Where the fuck's my chainsaw at?" <laughs> and there's like people screaming and shit. And then there's a bit where he's arguing with his boss like over the movie, and his boss is like like combing through the movie to make sure that he likes the edit or whatever and he's like where in the fuck is my beaver rape scene and then ed's like uh i I just didn't think that it was really necessary and he's like beaver rape clip stays in the film (laughs) jesus christ dude that sounds like a crazy ass movie it's a great movie i i love also like it'll show you like the scene and then it'll show you like he'll like cut out shit with his scissors, and he'll it'll show you the scene again after he's cut it. And the cut is like so comical, like he just like takes like here's the scene, and he gets like this whole part out, and now the scene's like this. <laughs> it oh my just god! Goes like right through it, but it's good. I recommend it. I have to check it out. Uh, Banana bread. You're in timeout, pal. He's back in timeout. Yeah, that's like I, what three times. Yeah, and thank you for bringing up Evil Fred. So kind of like segue us into evil ed i think you should take him out of timeout i like that he's kind of contributing to this stream it's like a four-person stream we'll put him in uh timeout once again he's he's in he's already in that way he gets more more (laughs) aggressive each time he comes out he's like a man like ash at the end of uh army of darkness he's like uh isn't it like satan from tenacious d like (laughs) yeah that is a good movie, by the way. So we'll say when's the when's the release date for this? I completely missed it. I want to say it's April twenty first. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. in April, and it's. I was kind of worried that it was going to be in March, and it would totally. <laughs> I like. I, I love Evil Dead. I like it better than Scream, 
But if it came out in March, I feel like Scream would just swallow it up. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, That's going to be like such a nice back-to-back, you know. Oh, yeah. Scream, Evil Dead, Roz. Dude, M- March is so fucking front-loaded. Like, it's... What a, you are all awesome. Can't wait to watch it. Sounds like it's right down my alley. I'm hopping off for the night. Bye, guys. Well, thank you for joining us, Hope. Yeah, thank you for joining. I'll call you after this is off the air, honey. I'll I bet you. some complete fucking dork dates that girl. I do. <laughs> Dude, it couldn't be me, man. Like... I bet you have a shrine of her, like in the background <laughs> of your live stream, dude. Like a yeah. fucking, like, uh, you know, school picture. <laughs> what a fucking, <laughs> what a poser, dude. I actually do have a picture of, like a, a picture of us on my mantle up here by my masks. Like, you just can't see it. So I do have some shit in here, like shrine-ish kind of shit. Like, I got a penguin she got me over there next to a not lot that she made me that's got lots on it. And What's the penguin's penguin name? Batman? Yeah, no, just a just a regular, cute, cuddly little animal. What's the thing? Penguin. Saying? Uh, penguin. The penguin. I like it. The penguin. No, I've not named it, but yeah, we're we're all guilty of having those things, I guess. I mean, little. You could take it to a further extreme and have you know your your girlfriend's picture with a candle in front of it. Uh, yeah, that'd yeah, be that'd be really extreme. <laughs> but that's okay. What are, you look, what are you looking at? Where are you looking to your right, to, uh, towards the ground area over there a minute ago? He's looking at where she's there. tied up at. <laughs> Man, I just... This banana bread guy's pissing me off, guys. <laughs> is he already still, out? I'm still stewing on that, you know what I mean? Oh, come on. <laughs> you can't regret giving it to me. That's the best picture ever. What if she, like, fucking Dear John'd you on the stream? Oh, that'd be messed Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was mean. I shouldn't have said that. That's messed up. <laughs> Could you imagine that moment it, would live in infamy on the internet? <laughs> she call. She don't call in tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude, uh, don't you put that evil on him, Ricky Bobby? You put that evil on me. You are not paralyzed. I am so paralyzed. All right, so we've been goofing off quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, like probably uh, fifty-five percent the the whole stream here. Um, but getting back to Evil Dead a little bit. Um, That's why you need to be here, Chris, is to steer the ship. You yes. Know? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I, I kind of go off topic too sometimes. No, I'm um, the that's... worst about it. It's me <laughs> that's the problem. It's me. No, no. I'm the problem. You make it more entertaining. Um, <laughs> for me, I know this is going to sound fanboyish, but my expectations for this is to be. I mean, they are pretty hot. I'm not going to lie. The trailer impressed me. I'm hoping that this will be of equal caliber or higher of Evil Dead 2013. That's all I'm asking for. That's what I'm saying, too, because I don't think it will be for me. This is just me. I know, technically speaking, some of these newer movies are better made than the old classics. I just don't think that any of those will surpass it. But I'd love to, you know, have a new Evil Dead movie in the franchise that we can watch that doesn't have to have Bruce Campbell in it. I think that's, that's a cool idea. I hope this fucking blows up in the box office, and I hope we get more of them. Hope it's good. I agree. I feel like it'll do well because <laughs> horror does well now. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? As oh, long yeah. as it doesn't have too much other options sandwiching it, like because that's true. With something like Evil Dead, you got to be in the right headspace to see it. And if like Evil Dead, as I hate to say it, like if it was coming out the same time as like a paranormal activity adjacent type thing. The Paranormal Activity movie is going to outperform Evil Dead. I just know that that's the case because of just yeah. how people see movies, you know. Um, mm-hmm. And so, but if the, if there's only just like one evil, uh, if there's only one horror movie out in theaters and it's even like remotely fucking competent, which I expect this movie to be above competent, you know, mm-hmm. um, I feel like it's going to do well because uh, it also because of the fact that it's not like required viewing to see these older movies. Um it'll bring in people who just don't really fucking know anything like, yeah, which Absolutely. is what you want. You, you, if yeah. it was just evil dead fans to try and keep this afloat, then the, 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 the fan base is never going to grow. Like I can joke about how I, you know, I'm like a gatekeeper or whatever, but I'm not actually like that. I want to see mm-hmm. evil dead grow. I want to see new people get into it. And if this is their first evil dead movie, then fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want it to be, oh, yeah. Yeah. I want it to represent the values <clears throat> that I want evil dead to, esteem which is just like badass gore really great characters that you root for mm-hmm. survival elements um practical effects 
Absolutely. Uh, while you're paused, I just want to say the characters from the trailer look really good. They do. I can't wait they to look see interesting. Uh, this new lead, man. She looks pretty badass. Mm-hmm. They don't take it to the dead eyes. 100%. Yeah, yeah. I, th- that's the thing I'm, I'm like the most concerned about mm-hmm. is the, the lead. I don't think that she's going to be bad. I just I really want her to be great. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah, she uh, needs like to I, overperform. I, Yes, I, I am. I'm rooting for her, you know, and because Mia had an uphill battle, but she totally won me over. And now I love that character uh, mm-hmm. and I would love to see her again. But with this new girl, it's it's just a new girl like she could be anything. And I feel like there is a tendency to just kind of make uh, a female character just a strong character, but give her no personality whatsoever. Like I did not care for uh, Sam Carpenter in Scream 6 or Scream 5. Or her sister. I thought both those characters were just dull as fuck. And especially like when compared to like the original characters, it's just like, uh, like dry, you know what I mean? So I want this new, like Mia wasn't like that. Mia had all this baggage with her. Uh, she had a really kind of fucked up origin to get her to the cabin to begin with. And then even once you took away all the other characters around her, which I liked too, I, I really liked like the hippie dude, the one that I actually read from the book. Oh, and I yeah. Liked, I liked her brother and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I was rooting for all them. And then once we pivoted back to Mia as being the sole survivor, I was still just like 100% on her side. So I exactly. really need that from this. Uh, dude, that guy, I think his name's Eric. He had so many warnings, so many chances not to read the fucking book. God. Yeah, I know. Can we just be completely honest there? Eric, yeah. Yeah, he had so many chances. But the guy was like very resilient. Uh, in that movie. He was tough as shit. Yeah, he's an absolute yeah. stud. He got fucked up worse than anybody. You know what they say. If you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. Yeah. <laughs> he's the, the full embodiment of that. Huh? Okay, so he might be dumb. However, mm-hmm. if I found that book and I was there for <laughs> the same reasons, I'm reading out of that fucking book. I'm back. Banana bread. I'm not scared of it. <clears throat> Turn you into a banana muffin. Bitch. <laughs> no, I'm I'm excited. I just hope that sure <laughs> <laughs> Devin just froze. Yeah. I was just doing a dramatic reading of his comment. I was sure punk is all I was doing. So. Do you feel lucky? Do you? Huh? Punk. I just did want I the essence of the evil did I fire day six. To kind of and, uh, stay tell with you the this truth one. And all the commotion i lost track myself <laughs> do you feel lucky punk do you <laughs> talk about the essence of evil dead jordan uh i just hope that it remains there like like we've talked about a bunch like with bruce campbell like not having to be there i i think that there's a lot of potential for the series outside of this movie there's a lot like a, i don't want to go past this movie because it's not even here yet and be like well let's talk about yeah. future sequels but there's a lot depending on what they do with this story and the outcome that yeah, they, could they could do, do, or they could go even back to the reboot if they wanted to and make some sort of sequel to that movie. And mm-hmm. there's a bunch of shit they could do. It's this is a never ending thing. This book can travel. Everywhere. I've got a question for you guys then. And Jordan basically is the one that said it, but I'm just going to make it more clear here. Um, where would you like to see an evil dead movie set next? Ooh, Hmm. Honestly, for me, I don't care where it's set at, but set it in the snow. Snow. Set, set in the snow. Oh, would be really cool. Maybe just like kind of a good combination there. Christmas time. That would be cool. I'd be down mm-hmm. for that. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that would be interesting, like you said, with the blood and the snow and all the effects that they could do, and stuff that they could utilize with the winter. They and open the cold up and. Open up a box, like Christmas box, and it's a fucking hand, or just mm. something comes out and attacks Santa. Him. Some guy dressed like Santa becomes a deadite. Evil elves. Evil elves. Mm-hmm. Well, I yeah. don't mean literally Santa. I just meant like a guy, like a mall Santa, becomes a deadite. Evil elves, man. They, they don't have to. They don't have to be real elves, man. They can be like his uh, entourage. Okay, his entourage. I'm down with that. I, I think love that, that would word. Work. Mark, this, this kid's freaking me out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did your daddy have a safe? <laughs> Bad Santa, Evil Dead style. That'd be amazing. What about That'd like be... in a school? Could you imagine that? 
Yeah, I could see that. A bit cool. cool. Like we've already kind of got a taste of that in the TV show, but I mean, yeah. like whole fucking serious movie like this tone set in a high school that'd be kind of cool. Um, there's things be... you could do with that. What about Evil Dead in Hell? I mean, fuck yeah, dude. Could you imagine like all the survivors? Like, oh, can't do that. Can't throw ash in there. But like in my perfect world, man, have all the survivors fucking battling through hell. Just all these demons, all the you know. That'd be mm. awesome. That'd be Wouldn't cool. Wouldn't it be sick though to have Ash there? You know, it would be maybe in an yeah. animated form. Have like a you know, uh, fucking Mia, Ash, uh, the new chick. Uh, they really like, got to get going on that animated ago. thing that they've been talking about. Like mm-hmm. they keep saying, like, oh, we're t- thinking about doing it as an animated series. I'm like, well, then Let's fucking move your Do ass. It. Yeah, you know that and. Uh, I, I like the Evil Dead video game for what it is, but I really wish that it was just like an immersive single player story mode game rather than like a multiplayer online game. Because like a horror survival type Evil Dead game where you just play as Ash or play as whoever. Uh, I, fuck, man. Like, that's what I want. And if that's the way that we get uh, like what, what was it called? Um like the Ghostbusters video game. Oh, they did yeah. like they basically did Ghostbusters 3 but as a video game. I would love game. to see something like that but like as Evil Dead, you know. That would be cool. It would be. I like the little little missions and stuff on that. I wish that that was more of the the basis of the game. Mm-hmm. I think he's just trying to troll you, Devin, at this point. I'm just bored with him as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of juice to make fun of him with. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he's learned his lesson, that little troll. Yeah, I hope he's been putting time out enough times. Yeah, like four times, man. Now he knows how to be a good boy. Maybe time to get stream. Time for him to get spanked. <laughs> Can't put him in time out. He needs take to take him with the book of the dead. <laughs> Have a demon pop out and shoot up his asshole. Ooh, I wouldn't wish that fate on anybody. Not even We're... banana bread. Not okay, even banana, banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing timeouts anymore, buddy. Next, th- next word of sass. You're getting a spanking. You're going to bed early exactly. without supper. I'd like it. I bet you would. <laughs> yeah, it's time out. You put him in timeout again? Yep. Fuck! That, comment, that comment was too much, man. <laughs> that comment. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, please. That comment was too much. Well, well, at what point does YouTube say, like, okay, you put this guy in timeout enough times, we're banning him for you? It, it, it might pop up, like, you know, do you want to, <laughs> do you want to ban this account? <laughs> yeah, we're like, we've noticed uh, that you keep fucking suspending this guy. <laughs> like, you want to just fucking get rid of him? <laughs> like... That's amazing, banana bread. You made or not? Um. Any final thoughts on Evil Dead Rise? I know we've been just bullshitting a little bit. Um, man, I feel like I've talked a lot about it. Uh, I've got everything out that I need to get out. We're basically, some... whenever we talk about it, we're like the agreement corner. We're all like, yo, it's going to be good. And then Jordan's yep. like, yo, I think it's going to be good. And then Chris is like, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pretty much. I and wish we I'd had that like, like fourth Gentlemen, can you here. stop for a moment so yeah. I can agree with you? And then you're like, your agreement has been noted. <laughs> So, <laughs> we need that fourth person here. It's like evil did dog shit, man. Like, fuck yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But why didn't we? Uh, banana bread. Why didn't we have him yeah. on here? Banana oh, bread. Shit, you need to show your face around these parts. If you yeah. do, we'll put you on here. We invite you. Mm-hmm. We I invite you to a stream that I'm not in charge of. Yeah, and you can sit <laughs> right beside of Devon. I mean Devon. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, th- I think uh, everybody should go check it out. I mean, I bet Banana Bread doesn't even know who Dante Graves is. I don't know, man. He could be a stalker of yours, though, too. No, I don't think he is. I, d- I bet he doesn't know that he's talking to a fucking A-list celebrity here. <laughs> he probably doesn't, man. Or maybe he does, and that's why he's like trying to get under your skin. Mm. Trying to cause you know some kind of... Uh, just Freak fucking... out for yeah, bad me- publicity. Like, yeah, can go back and... break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In an Evil Dead Rise stream, pathetic man. Pathetic. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to get him there. Not when we're talking about Evil Dead. Yeah, you're just, you're not going to get him there. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I, I'll say this: I hope that I mean, it could it could be the best 
horror movie in 2023. Uh, like 2022, that's awesome. Very nice. Very nice. 2022 was a great year for horror, like in general. I seen mm-hmm. more good than I saw bad. And uh, that's something that I can't say about, you know, the cut back five years ago or 10. Like, there's going to be good and bad, but this one's been an, a, more of an outstanding year as of late that I remember. And yeah, you had like Ter- Terrifier 2, Halloween Ends, regardless of how you feel about it. Uh, Fuck you! Yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't care for it personally, but no, I know I'm fine with I, it. <laughs> I, I know people who who fucking adored it. I have a buddy who who loved it to death. I think uh, I said on my video about it. I said that uh, if you liked it, that's fine. But if you loved it, I hate you. But also, I liked it. <laughs> I enjoyed parts of it. It it was one of the less. I mean, there was another movie, even as far as like movies that are not as as high profile, like. Uh, the sadness was really good. Yeah, that was yeah, on Shutter. That was a wild foreign film. I didn't watch that. It's they really, really. It out, man. Is Gory. it still on Shutter? Uh, it should be. Uh, don't hold me to it, but definitely check it so, out. So yeah, I mean, there was. I think I watched on was Shutter good. was uh, Scare Package Two. Hmm. I never I'm watched that one. Did you watch Scare Package One? No, okay. I haven't either. No, I need to. Um. I wouldn't say you need to, but there's definitely it's like a horror anthology series, mm-hmm. uh, and it's a, it's set in a video store, and it's like guys like us just bullshitting about movies, and they're like taking stuff off the shelf. When did you lose me? Uh, taking stuff off the shelf. They're like taking Dope. stuff off the shelf, bullshitting about it, and then like when they're talking about it, it'll cut to that movie, and you'll see like a glimpse of it. And the movies are all like really ridiculous things, like they mm-hmm. just it, they're not even like real movies. They're like it's one hundred percent horror comedy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But uh, and- yeah. God damn it. I'm so pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't want me to talk about Scare Package. Fuck Scare Package. It's banned. It's banned. Fuck Scare Package. What are some other horror films, I guess, that you guys are also looking forward to? Or do we want to save that for just a completely different stream? Because this is an Evil Dead Rise trailer I, discussion. I think so. I think that would make for a very interesting stream to talk about like the upcoming horror films of 2023. There's a ton. I would like to. Yeah, that'd be really cool to do that one night so, in the future. I say we save that for another time. Me too. Kyle, Kyle leaving <laughs> right there, you know, chomping at the bit. Yeah. Or at least Banana Bread will be back. He's oh like, yeah. God, I yeah. gotta know what they think of all these movies. <laughs> yeah. So I send uh, send like the thirty death threats and insults that he hasn't got to send in his timeout. So he'll be he'll be back. Exactly. I, w- I will say this before we close, like uh, outside of like <laughs> evil, evil dead. Rise. He looks like Shao Kahn. <laughs> if if you haven't watched Evil Dead at I all, heard you call uh, me Shao Kahn. <laughs> it's it's one like it's a try like literally Evil Dead all the way to you know the reboot reimagining whatever they're all solid and then Ash vs Evil Dead is so fucking great too. So if you haven't seen any of it and you're just I don't know why you watch this to begin with, but yeah, uh, why would they be watching this, Jordan? You fucking but, <laughs> but I mean because people watch they're watching it, an Evil know. Dead Rise trailer discussion of three fucking hardcore fans. I don't know, man. There was somebody. Who, there, there was a there was a girl here who has never seen any of them. So that's, that's okay. That's true. So I mean, she watch. had a she had a personal vested interest in one of the hosts. That's that's also true. I don't know how much of an interest, but yeah, I mean, watch it. I don't give a fuck what you all watch. <laughs> I like that he was. Trying- He's trying to be like optimistic, and he's like, "Hey, you know, if you haven't seen them yet, go ahead and check them out. They're great." And then I like was super mean to him, and he's like, "You know what? I, I don't give a fuck. Whatever you want. What's whatever." <laughs> I'm fucking done, dude. Fuck this. <coughs> Devin is a horse tamer. <laughs> oh my god! Is it because of my laugh? Is that what you're making fun of? I have no idea. Oh man, uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed this stream. Uh, I think that I've laid out my thoughts on Evil Dead Rise. <laughs> That's going to blow us. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, it's we trash. all think it's going to fucking suck. Don't go suck. watch it. We obviously don't like Evil Dead. All Dude, jokes aside. Fuck Evil Dead. Need, Evil Dead's need to make it. Stupid. 
I'm more of a Munsters guy. Absolutely. That's why you're going to say with the Munsters shirt. Uh, uh, did you, did you, did you, uh, yeah, I like the Munsters as well. <laughs> did you get that shirt directly from Rob Zombie or? <laughs> this is the fucking TV show, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, no, I was just being a sarcastic ass. Look at this. Uh, it even says, uh, I think on the bottom of it, it says like, as seen on MeTV or some shit like that. I don't know. Yeah, that's a cool shirt. You know, I'm actually one of these fucking weirdos that gave that Rob Zombie movie a good review. Wow. I watched a little I bit of it. I liked it. It was funny, dude. I watched a little bit I'm of too it. scared it was... to watch it. Yeah. You gotta watch it, but set your TV to be black and white, because mm-hmm. it was shot in black and white. I even, I, I talk all about this in my video for it, so that's my plug for that. But basically, as you guys be my friends, I'm gonna explain it to you. Mm-hmm. Um, if you set it to black and white, it hides a lot of the cheapness of it and just makes it look like mm-hmm. the show. And like the, the makeup and stuff isn't quite as bad in black and white. Cause it's only, it was only made to hold up in black and white. And then they demanded the movie be in color. And it hmm. really just kind of fucked the production. Cause I, I watched half of it in color and I was like, God, and I made it black and white. And it wasn't just something simple. It's like, Oh, it looks like the show now. So it's good. But like once it's black and white, you can just focus on the jokes and stuff. And I thought it was really funny. As a hardcore fucking Monsters fan, I thought it was pretty funny. So, Hell yeah, I may have to go back and revisit it. Black and white. In black and white. Yes. Fuck absolutely. yeah. Well, thank you, Banana yeah, Bread, first and foremost, for joining us tonight. Is Beth been- still here, or did she fucking leave and not say goodbye? Uh, I'm not sure. She probably has on in the background. She does her test. But thank you, Beth, Hope, Banana Bread, even though you're, you're a coward, dude. Show your She's- face yeah. tonight. Tonight at my Show your fucking face, you fucking moron. I'm not fucking scared of you. And thank you to all the viewers that are doing yeah. this after the fact. Let us know what you think of Evil Dead Roz, the trailer. Hopefully it's good. And good night. Good night, everyone. <laughs>